Hey everyone, welcome back. So now that we're done with our Spring Boot API, it's time for us to move on to the React front end, which is what I know you guys really, really want to see. So before we move on, you guys need to install Node.js on your environment. Now, what I recommend, just like I did for uh, the Java version of this tutorial, is that you always stick to the LTS version, long-term support. Even if you're watching this into the future and say you have version 12, it doesn't matter. Just stick to the LTS version of Node.js, all right? Now, how can you check whether or not uh, you have Node installed? I, I believe it's Node-V, and that's going to give you your version. As you can see, I'm a little behind, but I'm running on an LTS version nevertheless, okay? Cool. So now the other thing that I want to get out of the way is that and just give me a second because I'm gonna open this but first I need to <laughs> close down a few things I always have a bunch of stuff running here guys so the other thing that I want want to recommend for this course or for this tutorial is that you guys install Visual Studio Code Visual Studio Code is an amazing tool for React development and for other developments such as Python and Node and Angular and what have you. I think it's an amazing, uh, amazing text editor. I was going to say IDE. Amazing text editor for JavaScript in general. Now, if you guys are comfortable with Atom, if you guys are comfortable with Sublime Text or whatever other um, text editor out there, and you guys are already using that one, hey, fine by me, no worries about that. Don't, don't worry about it, like don't change text editors on my account. I am just re recommending this one because it, I believe it's super awesome. Now, in this one, I do have a few extensions that are super, super handy and that we're gonna use as we move along, right? So these are the extensions that I have, and these extensions actually help uh, the React development piece a lot, okay? So, you know, just pause the video here. Uh, you can go here, search, search extensions in the marketplace, and just grab them, right? Uh, again, if this is only if you guys plan on using Visual Studio Code. If not, then you know, no, no, no worries there, just Use whatever extensions you, you guys want, all right? No, no worries there. Okay, so now that we have this, then we have another administrative uh, task that we have to take care of, and this is to install uh, Create React App. If you guys don't have that yet on your environment, I'm going to show you how to install it. It's actually super easy. First, let me just navigate to the project folder. Okay, so uh, give me just a second. No, that's not it. All right, um, CD project board. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for the project board where I have the Java project because that's where I want. Okay, project board of course, sorry guys. Again, I have a lot of stuff here. All right. So let me just clear out of the ear so you guys don't see any anything that you guys don't, don't need to see. And if you do LS here, as you can see, I have the Java project here, right? So in this same folder, I, I'm going to recommend that you guys do uh, npm install create react app. Hold on, create react app. All right now, I'm just going to... Um, open this a little wider for you so you guys can see the whole command create react app and just hit enter I have it so I don't think it's gonna do anything it might update it I think but I don't think it's gonna do much because I already have this all right so just go ahead and install that uh-huh he's saying that there's a new one so don't worry about any of this just go ahead and install it for now and then once you have inst once you have that installed I am recommending that you do this in the same folder. Again, obviously not inside the Java project, but in the same folder where you're keeping keeping this so you guys can have both, both together. If you, want, you guys want to do a separate folder, by all means, no worries there. This is just how I'm going to keep it because this is how I'm going to commit it to uh, get so you guys have access to the branches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do create react app. And then I'm just going to give it a name. And the name I am going to give it is Project Board 
react. Yeah, that's as good as name as any. All right, and then this is going to uh, take a few seconds or perhaps a minute or two uh, setting up your boilerplate React project. And usually this is where an instructor would, would just pause the video. I just want you guys to see the whole thing. And again, if you're on a different operating system, this might look different. So I've had some questions like, hey, it doesn't look exactly the same. And then when I see the screenshot, I'm like, um, yeah, because you, you're not working on a Mac. <laughs> Again, not a problem, but you know, just don't expect it to be perfect. All right, so now what you're gonna have here is you're gonna have then your project board react. And what we're going to do is that uh, uh, we're going to add this folder to our, we're gonna open it with our Visual Studio Code. So I'm just gonna do it here behind the scenes because I have so many folders some of their some of them are work related and you know you, you gotta keep things confidential that's all alright so here's a project that we just created and again you can go here to add a folder to work workspace and then just navigate to where your react project is now we're gonna talk a little bit about what we have here if you guys are if you guys have some experience with react feel free to skip this especially if you have experience with create react app if not just stick around the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is uh, this package.json here and I'm assuming that you guys have some obviously some experience with Spring Boot and then you guys are here because you wanna see uh, these two am amazing technologies work together so the package.json the way I made sense of it when I was learning all this stuff it's a package.json is basically your pom.xml. Now, for those of you that are super knowledgeable in, ja knowledgeable in JavaScript, uh, please don't take offense because I am not comparing anything to anything. All I'm saying is that this is how I made sense of it, all right? Because this has uh, scripts to build, to start the application. This also has some dependencies and this is where you're gonna keep your dependencies or how you're gonna manage your dependencies and so forth. So um, just think about package.json as an equivalent to pom.xml, although they're not the same thing. And think about npm as the equivalent to Maven, although they are not the same not the same thing. Okay, I'm not comparing anything to anything, right? Again, I've seen heated discussions about this and I'm not gonna get into one, just saying. All right, so the next thing that this uh, this thing generated for us here in the public folder, well, actually before we go here, here in the no node modules, uh, it installed a bunch of libraries for us. Uh, you don't touch anything here, okay? You don't touch anything here, you don't change anything here, at least not for this project. You leave it alone, okay? You don't do anything in here. Now in the public folder, you have an index.html. Now this is a very important file. Why? Because in this file, you're gonna have the diff with the ID of root. It is in here where your React application is going to live. So you can see this file, you can um, pretty much see this, yeah, see this file as the entry point of your application. All right, so this is super important. We're gonna touch this file a little bit later on, but other than that, leave it alone, okay? Leave it alone. Then the, the, the next uh, file that's super important that got generated for us was the index.js. Now, the index.js is basically where we, ha where, where we have our main render uh, method, which is rendering, obviously, the app component. Right, and it's basically rendering to the document get element by the root. So basically, this is saying this is the main app, and we're gonna talk about this one in a second. Excuse me, and render everything that's in this component. Just render it right in here. So if you erase this, nothing's gonna nothing's gonna work. Without this JavaScript file that was generated for us, nothing's gonna work. Now the third piece of the puzzle is the app.js file. 
this app.js file is your is a meeting place of all of your components all the components that we're going to be working on this is where they're going to meet and this is what say manages what gets rendered rendered in your react application okay so here we are go here is also where we're going to do the routing say for instance uh, you're going you're going from one path to the other say you're going from the dashboard to uh add or you're going to a form or you're going to a different view here's where we're going to actually work with routing all right and now that we have you know kind of explored what we got out of this uh, create react app command then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open my terminal real quick if you guys wanna over your terminal I think all you have to do is if I'm not mistaken because I, I'm always using the um, the key combination and they keep forgetting sometimes uh, I think it is oh my god this is not this is actually kind of embarrassing um, yeah right here sorry guys terminal so it's going to be view terminal if you guys want to do it up here in the in the menu okay if not you guys can follow whatever key combination combination is uh set up for your operating system all right so now here what we're going to do is we're going to type npm start where am i getting this from well we already have that script set up in the scripts here in package.json okay start so with npm start what this is going to do is that it's going to open a boilerplate view of our application all right so this is just perhaps going to take a second or two and perfect this is exactly what we uh, generated with that create react react app and again all this that you're looking at right now is actually coming from app.js if you can see here and actually let me make some more room here you guys can see learn react whatever whatever and we're obviously going to get rid of all of this in favor of our design right so this is really cool and just before we wrap this one up i'm just going to show you that we can get rid of all of this which we don't need right and everything goes away and then i uh, actually let me just um do another diff here all right and then let's just do an h1 welcome to the project board and if I save this now you see that we have that there so again app.js is a meeting place for all of your components and you guys are gonna see that more and more as we start digging into the react piece of this uh, tutorial all right so I hope you guys uh, work on this I hope you guys get everything in place and then one last thing before we move forward because I really want to move a little faster this time around um, so I do want to ask you guys, I'm going to put this in, um, I'm probably going to put this in a separate repository, but we're not going to be coding a whole lot of HTML or CSS here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, put the designs in perhaps in the, in the, in the branch for this, uh, lecture or in our separate branch anyway. You're going to find that in the in the description of this video one way or another. Just get those designs. You know, it's just HTML, just so that we don't have to invest time writing HTML uh, for this project. Uh, we are going to use Bootstrap, all right, which we're going to be setting up in the next lecture, all right? So, again, if you don't find the designs, yeah, you're going to find the designs in the branch, in the repository that I'm going to be publishing uh, in the description for this video, right? Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.